Hey angels, it's Haley Reese, and today I hope that you are kind of ready to get your spook on because <laughs> ay, 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 this story is so terrifying and crazy and creepy and not only does it have to do with yet another haunted doll but it also has to do with another Reese's Pieces sent in story. I'm starting to very quickly learn that you guys or some of you have had your fair share with haunted objects and haunted dolls and I have a fascination with haunted dolls but man they really freak me out so since we've kind of been on a haunted doll streak I thought why not continue it and share this Reese's Pieces story. You guys know I created an email for you guys to send in your stories and to send me in you know anything that you really want to say to me on a personal level and that is questions at HaleyReese.com and I read through that as frequently as possible. My Grams reads through that every single day for the for the emails that I can't get to and she really filters through them so if there's any that I miss that she thinks that I really should be sharing with you guys she comes straight to me and tells me. So I do my best to read through that email and I do my best to put the time in to do that because you guys mean so very much to me and that's just like from the bottom of my heart but honestly you guys some of you experience some of the most terrifying things I've ever read or heard of and I always like to believe that what you guys share with me is the complete truth because I'm on here and I'm completely transparent with you guys I am who I am and I share my experiences no matter how crazy they sometimes make me sound and I always like to believe that we both share that relationship with each other that you watching this wouldn't lie to me and I wouldn't lie to you and we're just like you know we might be the odd corner of YouTube but we're very real and I think that that's such a beautiful thing about this channel so when I got this email from Melanie about a couple days ago I just had chills up my entire body and I want to share it with you guys today because I asked her permission if I could and I also told her that I was going to come on here and share the story with you guys and hopefully we can all, like we always do, decode this in the comments and figure out what Melanie should do. So back when Melanie was a child, her grandmother gifted her a sock monkey and I've personally never owned a sock monkey, but I've known of a bunch of people who have owned sock monkeys and I think they're pretty darn cute. I mean, I've never, I mean, I mean with any stuffed animal, they can sometimes come across as creepy if you look at them in that light, but I've always seen sock monkeys and been like, yeah, those are pretty cute. I would like to have one. Why not? And so she received a sock monkey from her grandma at a relatively young age. She said the minute that she received this sock monkey, she had the strangest feeling ever from it. She said she was little. She was too young to even fully understand that stuffed animals could be scary or that they could be malicious or entity filled but she still had this awful gut-wrenching feeling the minute that she looked at this thing. She said she automatically wanted to return it to her grandma but could never bring herself to do so because she kind of always felt like she was a little bit of a disappointment to her grandma and that her other cousins you know she was more proud of if that makes any sense and I think that's so sad because I'm sure that her grandma looked at her no different than any of her other cousins, but she said that she felt like by returning this gift or telling her grandma that she didn't want it or getting rid of it, it would just upset her grandma further and ultimately make her even less of a favorable grandchild. So she decided for the sake of her grandma she was going to hold on to this sock monkey no matter how much it really freaked her out. Now she said that she had nightmare after nightmare about this sock monkey and it got to the point where she would shove it away in the closet and didn't want anything to do with it. Now eventually a couple years later her grandmother actually passed away and she decided that she no longer felt the need to necessarily keep this sock monkey that gave her nightmares and just really bad bad feelings in her room anymore. So she said she had held the sock monkey in her hand and said, sorry chump, but I'm getting rid of you because I can't stand your creepiness. She said it was something along those lines, but she remembers calling it chump. She said, sorry chump, I'm not keeping you anymore because you're, you're creepy or something along those lines. She said she basically told it, hey listen here chump, you are creepy. And she wound up putting it down in the basement, in the cellar, something of those sorts where she was never to see it 
again. She said that actually for a little while, even while the sock monkey was in the basement, she would have these really horrible dreams about this stuffed animal and she was constantly feeling like it was just evil and out to get her and was not nice at all. Now flash forward to five years ago, she gave birth to a beautiful little girl named Ariel and she said that Ariel instantly became her entire world. Now I do need to mention that the house that she had put the sock monkey down into the cellar was her parents home, it was her childhood home that she grew up in, but her parents actually still live in this home to this day. So Ariel was born, she instantly became Melanie's entire world, and she was just her baby girl. Now Melanie is five now, but when Melanie was three and a half, she was playing at her grandparents house, and she found the sock monkey. Now instantaneously she formed this really strange attachment to this sock monkey. Melanie said that she came to her parents house to pick up Ariel after a few nights at staying at grandma and grandpa's. So she notices that Ariel has the sock monkey and she instantly asked her parents where did Ariel get this and why does she have it and they told her that they'd always kept it, they had a little bin downstairs of all the kids toys that they'd outgrown and that they were letting Ariel look through it because she wanted to play with some new toys. Well, Melanie freaked. She did not want her daughter to play with the sock monkey, so she tries to bargain with her and tell her, you know, we're gonna leave this doll here and it's gonna stay at grandma and grandpa's and they're gonna hold on to it. Well, she just flipped. Ariel starts screaming, crying, going purple in the face because she loves this sock monkey so much. She's not gonna give it up. And Melanie's parents start looking at her like, um, why are you being so mean? It's a sock monkey. Let her have it. She likes it like it used to be yours. Why can't you just let her have it? And eventually she just gives in and says, whatever, you can bring it home. She had the intentions of actually just getting rid of it in the week to come and trying to like bribe her with a new toy to give up this like old new toy, if that makes any sense. So Ariel became so attached to this sock monkey. She would never put it down. This thing was with her every minute of every day. And any time in the night that Melanie would go into her room and try to pull this sock monkey out from under Ariel's arm, she would scream and freak and Melanie would be forced to leave her with this sock monkey. So that was about a year and a half, two years ago. This is the point in the email where she tells me that she is getting afraid for her daughter's safety. She said that one day they were sitting at the kitchen table and Melanie asked Ariel if she'd be willing to put the sock monkey away while they had dinner. Well once again it puts her in full blown hysteric. She's upset over this and she starts screaming, he hates you, he hates you, that's why he hates you. And so her mom looks at her and goes, what are you talking about Ariel? Who hates me? He does. And all of a sudden she turns and she says, Listen here, chump, you're creepy. Listen here, chump, you're creepy. And I guess Ariel began repeating this phrase over and over and over and over again while she's in this like temper tantrum of not wanting to get rid of this sock monkey. Now let's flash back. Melanie said that when she was getting rid of this stuffed sock monkey and was putting it downstairs, she said something along the lines of, sorry, chump, you're creepy or something like that. And all of a sudden, her daughter is repeating over and over and over again, listen here, chump, you're creepy. Listen here, chump, you're creepy. Over and over. And when her mom looks at her and says, where did you learn that language? She starts giggling, points to this stuffed sock monkey and says, he knows, mommy. He knows. So now at this particular point in time, Melanie is convinced that her daughter has this attachment to this sock monkey that was once hers that is possessed by some sort of entity because ultimately her daughter knew of a conversation that was held between this sock monkey and her mother years and years and years before and the attachment that she has towards this sock monkey is just unnatural. And also the things that she talks about with the sock monkey and the way that she gets when her mom tries to take it away, Melanie is completely concerned that her daughter is either getting freakishly attached to or becoming possessed by or some sort of negative spirit occupies it. I mean, she said right from the beginning of her receiving this, she had the worst feeling about this sock monkey. 
But she also said that she knew deep down that it was nothing that her grandma did that whatever happened or wherever she got it, it must have already came with it because as much as she never felt like she was her grandma's favorite, she knows for a fact that her grandma would never have wanted to cause her harm. And looking back as an adult, she said it had a lot to do with her childhood insecurities, which I mean, can get the best of anybody. And I've certainly thought that people like me less than they do based off of insecurity and that alone. So I told her if it was okay, I was gonna come on here and share this experience that she wrote me in an email and hope that you guys can come to some sort of consensus as to what's going on. I mean, it's pretty clear to me that she somehow needs to get this sock monkey if this is a true story, which I don't know why somebody would lie to me to this degree, especially involving their child. Um, but I mean, you never know. We gotta take that with some grain of salt. But if it is a true story, it's pretty obvious that she needs to get this sock monkey away from her daughter and try to get her away from it. I mean, ultimately, if it is a spirit that's formed an attachment, it might go beyond this sock monkey at this point in time. But I don't know what to make of this, you guys. So I wanted to come on here and share this story. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's a true story? Do you think it's really happening? If you do believe it, what do you think that Melanie should do? I mean, Ariel is really young, so it's the best time to try to get this sock monkey away from her. Um, but she's also said that the temper tantrums that come in the hysterics are beyond what her daughter ever has done or does in any other situation and it terrifies her to the point of just letting her keep it i don't know you guys just please let me know in the comments below what you guys think that's one of my favorite things that we do on this channel is we all talk amongst each other we're kind to one another and we talk about what we think is going on because Sometimes even I have no idea what to say to somebody or what to make of a situation. Like I said, if this is true, it is extremely terrifying. And I, I hope that she gets the help that she so seriously deserves. But on that note, I'm going to leave it with you guys and let you guys debunk whether you find this story to be true or what you think she should do. Do. On that note, I just want to say if you are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. I post every single day from now until Christmas and I really, really love seeing this family grow. And on that note, if you did enjoy today's video, if you would give it a thumbs up, that would make my heart super duper happy. <laughs> Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you.